What is up, YouTube? It's your new boy here. Your new boy, Mr. Talk About It. So basically, here, what we're gonna do is talk about sports, WWE, UFC, hockey, uh, NBA, mostly NBA, because I know lots of stuff about the NBA. About the NBA. So, um, so basically, I'm gonna be adding a new, um, cha a new, um, channel to this channel lol so I'm gonna be playing Reblox with the commander of the Alamo but also I will be talking about sports and off season moves in the MB in the NBA so basically um this is gonna be a good channel for all those sports lovers and for the Reb Reblox lovers here so what about if we get started here today today's topic is gonna be about the top 10 my top 10 draft here this evening so what about if we get started with this draft bust and just to inform you Andrew Bennett is not in this list because I really think that Andrew Bennett will be a good player in a few years I saw him in the summer league he's very good you know I saw him in the highlights of a couple of last season he was a very good player you know he could dunk he could defend like he needs more practice on the defending shots you know he could do pretty much everything else but you know he needs more um, practice and he might be traded to the Minnesota Timberwolves you know we'll talk about that later on um, upload another video with Kevin Love to the Cleveland Cavaliers maybe we're for um, Andrew Wiggins and uh, Anthony Bennett in the first round pick so when I'm gonna upload a video separately uh, later on in the day here on my Mr. Talk About It channel. So what about if we get started with number 10, Marcus Fraser, Fraser, whatever you call him. He was selected in the 2000 NBA draft, fourth overall by the Chicago Bulls, about Chicago Bulls fans. Marcus Fraser was doing a f uh, fourth overall pick in the 2000 um, NBA draft for the Chicago Bulls and his six seasons six seasons Frazier averaged less than ten points and five rebounds per game. He only started thirty five games in his career and never played a playoff t or never played in a play on a playoff team or on a winning team. Can you believe that? Ten points Less than 10 points and 5 rebounds per game. And right now the guy is trying to make a team in the NBA. I heard the last last time he was trying to make a team for the Golden State Warriors tryout. Uh, I guess it didn't turn out good. Only 6 seasons. I'm a Chicago Bulls fan so... Why did you select this guy, just to be honest? Let's go with number 9, Andrea Bargani. Bar Bargani. He was selected first overall in the 2006 NBA draft, and Bargani was the first overall pick out of Italy. He was the first international player to be selected first overall in eight NBA seasons. The seven-footer has shot below 50% from the field each in each season. He and has never averaged seven rebounds per game. He has been winning. He's been on a winning team just once in those eight seasons, which pretty much stands for the New York Knicks. Because the Toronto Raptors haven't won anything. Well, they've only been to the playoffs once. Well, once in like in a couple of years. But I've been, they've been out of the playoffs. So Andrea Bargani is in this list. If you guys get mad, I don't know why. But it's true, Andrea, Andrea Bargani deserves to be in this list, especially how he's playing in the New York Knicks right now. He pretty much sucks, wasting money there. What about if we move to number 8, Darko Militich, the 2003 second overall pick. Much like how Bowie was drafted be between Hakeem Olajuwon and Michael Jordan, Darko Militich was whoever will be however known drafted between LeBron James and Carmelo Anthony, the number two pick. The lead, 
with the Detroit Pistons, Milicic averaged less than 9 points per game in each season of his 10 seasons. He actually won an NBA championship with the Pistons. With the Pistons, um, his first season. Maybe if the Pistons could have selected Carmelo Anthony instead of Darko, they could have won three more championships. Who knows? Uh, last his last team, he was waived by the Boston Celtics one game into the 2012-13 NBA season and hasn't put in the NBA since. There are rumors to say that he's retired from the NBA. I don't know if that's true or not. We're completely we're Wikipedia says that. Um, I don't know. Many people. I heard a television one time in a YouTube video that he had retired. So, who knows? <laughs> Moving on with number seven, Patrick O'Brien, also from the 2006 NBA draft. He was selected ninth overall by the Golden State Warriors from out of Bradley. He averaged two points, put 2.1 points per game, 1.4 rebounds per game in his in his four season NBA career. Four seasons, averaging two points and one rebound per game. Wow. Well, making a grand total of three starts, he never grabbed more than seven rebounds a game. Wow. Three starts in his whole career. I'm going to make a separate video. The 2006 NBA draft. Look back at 2006. The only players that came out good was Rudy Gay and Rajon Rondo and Brandon Roy. But Brandon Roy retired due to his injuries. And you see the 2006 NBA draft. Half of them are not even playing in the NBA no more. Ha ha ha. Separate video coming soon. Let's go number six into the 1999 overall, uh, 1999 draft. Jonathan Bender. Jonathan Bender. Sorry, Bender. He was selected fifth overall by the Indiana Pacers after winning an MVP and of the 1999 McDonald's All Star Game. Bender entered the NBA draft. Both of all by the Toronto Raptors, sorry, the Raptors selected him. He was traded to the Indiana Pacers for Antonio Davis. Brandon's best season and was his third when he averaged 7 points, 7.4 points a game and 3.1 rebounds per game. He was waived by the Pacers the following, following the 2005-06 season and, and came back in 2009 for a brief stint with the New York Knicks, which didn't last long. I think he only played like five games. Okay, I don't really know much about the guy. So, what about us? Let's move on with Purvis Ellison. Number five, Purvis Ellison. In the 1989 NBA draft, he was selected first overall. First! The top pick of the 1985 draft, Thomas Ellison's career seemed to be promising when he averaged 20 points and 11.2 rebounds per game for the Washington Bullets in his third season. But the series of injuries plagued his career. After his fourth season, Ellison averaged just only 5.1 points per game and 4 rebounds per game per game for the rest of his career. And you could see his ugly as hairdo and for the Boston Celtics. You could just see pictures of him put per per thousand and then they'll shoot the they'll they will show that ugly ass hair that he used to wear that big long hair. Wow. For a guy that sucks, yeah, it's ugly. But if he rocked it out, maybe I would say something else that he will not I would not even be talking to, with him about him right now. He didn't put the Miami Heat. Seriously. Number four, Kwame Brown. Yeah, you know, just to be honest, I'm going to say it right now. Each time you look at the draft bust list of anybody's, Kwame Brown's going to be there. So don't so don't be shocked about Kwame Brown. Kwame, Kwame Brown was the first, I think he was the first ever player to be drafted out of high school. He get the first overall pick in the NBA draft when the Washington Pacers picked him in the 2001 NBA draft. They thought of him to be big, but Brown played 12 seasons before being waived, waived by the Philadelphia 76ers recently and did not play 
this season. He has whiffed by the Fire Buffalo 76ers this season, for the ones who don't know. The big man averaged 6.6 6 .6 points per game and 5.5 rebounds per game for his career. And up to right now, Kwame Brown hasn't joined any NBA teams. I think nobody's interested in this big man. Because he has small hands, he cannot play. Just look at Stephen A. Smith's video when he talks about when he gets traded to the Memphis Grizzlies for Paul Gasol. The guy says it, everything there. The only big season that he has had was with the Charlotte Bobcats a few years ago. He like scored 23 points on the Miami Heat and you know, he played very good with them. Um, yeah. Let's move on with number three, Adam Morrison. The 2006 NBA draft, he was selected third overall by the Charlotte Bobcats. Adam Morrison, he had a decent rookie season, averaging 11 points a game, but he missed the whole, missed the entire next season with a torn ACL on his left knee, which was the 2007 and 8 season. He missed that season due to an ACL injury. He had a good rookie season, but that ACL season changed his life forever, and you know the rest. You know the rest. Um, two more seasons with the Bobcats and the Lakers. He was traded to the Los Angeles Lakers, but didn't get much playing time. However, he won two championships with the Lakers. So who ended up getting the smiley, the smile in the face? Kwame, but I mean, um, Adam Morrison. Wow. Well, number two is Nico. Nicholas. It's gonna be. I can't say it. Whatever his name is. Anyways, nobody knows that guy. Nico. I'm gonna call him Nico. He was selected. He was selected fifth in the 2002 NBA draft. The Georgian. Georgian seven footer was selected fifth. He started just 16 games in his four-year career, averaging less than 3 points and 2 rebounds per game. He shot third, just 30% from the field and played four, with four different teams in his short career. I don't know what happened to him right now. Just to be honest, haha. Ha. Well, before we go to number one, let's throw a couple of honorable mentions here. Anthony Bennett. <coughs> yeah. Anthony Bennett does not deserve playing here. <coughs> Mohamed Sersene, who was selected into 2006 NBA Draft 10th overall. Mohamed Sersene only played three seasons with the Oklahoma City Thunder, Seattle Supersonics, and the New York Knicks. Only one game with the New York Knicks. Uh, we could put, um, I guess we could put Eddie Curry in there, second overall, I mean, fourth overall pick, I believe, in the 2001 NBA Draft. He only played a few seasons there. Um, well, let's hope for any more draft first in the future. Oh, oh, oh. <coughs> Number one is the candy man himself, Michael Ogoda Candy. Ogoda Candy, here. He was selected in the 1998 NBA draft first overall. The, the Clippers used the first overall pick on Michael, the seventh footer from Pacific. He lasted nine seasons in the NBA averaging double double digit points but just twice and never averaging double digit rebound rebounds. He finished his career averaging eight point three points per game and six point eight rebounds a game. So basically eight points a game and six rebounds per game. His last season was the 6 07 season when he played 24 games for the Boston Celtics. Yeah. Michael, why? I mean, the guy sucks, anyways. Well, I guess. I guess this could be it, you know. Another draft post I could add there is Sam Bowie, but he. I will talk about Sam Bowie. I will make a separate video of Sam Bowie and his life. I'm gonna. I'm tired of that. And, you know. I'm gonna tell you why he's not the best that you guys think. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this top 10 draft busts of all time. So, hopefully you enjoyed, and it's Mr. Talk About It. I want you to talk about it. 
I want you guys to talk about these 10 people and tell me if you guys, if I forgot any, any other draft busts, who else could have forgotten, um, got Kwame Brown in there, that's for sure, so I hope you guys enjoyed and see you guys later and hope you enjoyed, hope you enjoyed, um, this video and coming up many more videos of Mr. Talk About It and Commander of the Elemental Avengers. So see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed.